Have you ever sometimes felt that life is demanding a higher version of you right now? Or it had demanded once upon a time but you did not upgrade yourself? Or do you see something coming in the future which might demand a higher version from you? Which might demand that you increase your, you raise your energy levels, you raise yourself you become your best version of course we can never become our best version but we can try to become better and better and better all right so the other day i was asked a question that how do we raise our vibration how do we raise our energy how do we raise our frequency all right so it's very important so we will see how to do that hopefully today in short okay so if you're new then please subscribe and if you want a reading from me then please go to my website you will find the website in the description below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will definitely help you to increase your energy levels all right so now whenever we talk of increasing or improving or upgrading our vibration then we always have to understand that there are two things the first is the internal and the second is the external all right so sometimes people say that externals don't matter and sometimes people say that externals only matter both are not true which means externals also matter and internals also matter so you cannot negate one of them by saying that oh you know i am at this level i am at this stage which means that if you want to improve your energy level raise your vibration then you have to do things both externally and internally so that we can pull up the energy so let's talk of external first because that's a bit easier <laughs> to understand and for us to do so firstly if we want to raise our vibrations then we have to distance ourselves from people who are having low vibrations yes 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 we have to distance ourselves from people who suck away our potential now how do you know that who is sucking away your potential yes we have to know that right well uh, lord krishna says in the gita Ishwara Sarva Bhuta Naam Ridde She Junatishthati means that I am situated in every living being's heart. Ridde She Arjunatishthati in the region of the heart. So, if we are sincere in raising our vibration, then we will be given the intelligence by God. Because Krishna also says in the Gita, Matta Smritir Gyanam Apohanam Cha. Matta Smriti, remembrance. Jnanam, Apohanam, knowledge and forgetfulness. All these things come from God actually. He only gives us. So he can also take away and make us forgetful sometimes. Have you had that experience that you're sitting in an exam and you are, you know the answer and then you take the pen and you're like, oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> and the moment you come out of the exam hall, bang, why did I not write this? This was the answer, right? So that's the word apohanamcha. So if we are sincere, then God will give us the intelligence to understand that is this person who, who is interacting with us. He is going to raise our vibration or not. But at a practical level, we can see what the person is coming and doing with us. So if the person is uh, discussing about somebody else all right gossiping basically they're discussing oh who had an affair with whom or who is getting married or how did that person get the promotion all right he's discussing about the useless rubbish garbage of this world which means he's discussing oh who is going to win the election this time in 2019 in india yes it is it going to be Rahul Gandhi or Narendra Modi or somebody else or he's discussing things like okay who is going to win in Big Boss or when is the 
new season of Game of Thrones coming out? Or when is the latest uh, movie of Shah Rukh Khan coming out? When is the next version of Harry Potter releasing? All right. If he's discussing such useless rubbish stuff, then we got to understand that that person is going to put our vibration down. Why? Because he is going to put all the garbage inside you. All right. So, for example, who is going to win the election? That person will anyways win. Either you discuss or you don't. <laughs> okay. So now he will say, "Oh, maybe this party will win the election," and then. you will be like oh no 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 maybe that party wins all right and then that person will say no 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 this party did this you know that's bad this is good that person will will win so you will unnecessarily get into argumentation with that person and suppose you are planning to do something spiritual and then this person comes and tells you oh you know there's a movie of salman khan it's going to release so then he will plant that desire in your head all right and when he does that that's it end of the story suppose he comes and tells you oh you know there's a new girl out there she's pretty actually <laughs> she's very cute you should check her out all right or do you know ramesh is having an affair with uh, seema suresh is having an affair with uh, somebody else maybe yes <laughs> so then you will also start thinking oh wow nice they are having affairs what about me when when is the <laughs> when is the time going to come when i will also have an affair then you will also start flirting with girls you will also start going around hooking around with girls and then that's it end of the story <laughs> all right so we got to caution ourselves from these people people who come and debate on unnecessary things or rather on things which they have no control over like which party is going to form the government i mean seriously is it under your control now you may say oh yes we live in a democracy our vote matters we know that i also know that if that is the case go and vote properly all right rather than discussing uh, all these things which party should we do or what's going on basically then somebody talking about oh you know this new football show is coming out what will happen those who are playing they will be earning money what's go- what is going to happen in your life are you going to be benefited by seeing football you're simply going to waste your time nothing else nothing else is going to happen so then what will happen is when you go on watching football when you go on watching cricket when you go on watching uh, reality shows you know in tv or in the internet or in youtube or wherever it is then you will waste 90% of your energy and time and chanakya pandit says that a moment which is lost cannot be regained by paying an unlimited amount of money also yes if you lose a moment a second that's it it's gone so when you are distancing yourselves from these people then you will create a space for good things to come and good things to grow in your life all right but if you are associating with somebody who is discussing about the opposite sex yes they are discussing how uh, which girl is looking like or suppose uh, what uh, where couples are going for the honeymoon or where couples are going to spend the night yes these kind of things or where they are going to drink and party they are going to go out or they are going to himachal pradesh or they are coming to paris or somewhere in berlin in germany <laughs> if they are discussing about all this or suppose who who got a job how did that person get the job maybe he had some contacts maybe he had a reference otherwise he can't get the job oh why did she get the job why not he maybe she is having an affair with the boss right because the boss is a ma- male fortunately un- or unfortunately in that company so it's highly likely that uh, that lady who got the promotion she is having some affair or some uh, something going on with the boss so maybe the boss is favoring her okay so now the problem with all these rubbish rumors is whatever happens to that person about whom you are discussing 
that person's life improves or not irrespective of that your vibration goes down okay so first of all we have to distance ourselves from these people these people are like gar garbage dumps and then we also have to distance ourselves from those people who always speak negative which means they have nothing to talk positive you meet them oh how's life what's going on okay life's good oh you know my boss is terrible my wife is terrible my son is terrible my daughter is terrible my father is terrible he's doing this he's doing that she's doing this she's doing that <sighs> how terrible it is so of course this does not mean that everybody has to keep lying oh yeah my life is fantastic it's great it's mind blowing and i am in the best life in this planet no i'm not saying that if there are some problems serious problems then we need to talk then we need to discuss with our friends and then find a solution but irrespective of your problems you always have to remember that you will always have problems you will never have a perfect relationship with your boss or with your husband with your wife with your son with your father with your daughter that will never happen that can happen in a imaginary world all right but in reality that cannot happen but if somebody whenever they meet they are discussing all this yes how their life is the most terrible among all or if somebody is always getting into unnecessary debates then we need to distance ourselves from these people all right the third thing that we need to do is we need to distance ourselves from those people who always put us down put us down doesn't mean they insult us but whenever we want to share something about our life purpose suppose you like to sing suppose you like to go here go there do this do that and whenever you want to do that the person always keeps pulling you the person tells like uh, recently i was talking to one of my friend here so he was telling me that earlier he used to drink and from last two months around he has stopped drinking completely so his friends who used to who he used to drink with and who also used to drink with him <laughs> now after, from the time he has declared that i am not going to drink they have started calling him and whenever they call him they are always pushing him they are always pulling him come 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 all right so if you have people in your area in your company in your among your relatives or anywhere in your locality who always drags you down to wrong habits see basically when a person is smoking or drinking or watching pornography why the person wants company of others have you ever thought you will never find a person who is drinking milk he will go and call 10 people he said chalo yaar aaj milk ke doodh piyenge <laughs> come we will take juice together all of us have you ever heard why but whenever a person is smoking or drinking or doing some other sorts of nefarious activities like watching something uh, like pornography why in the universe the person always wants company because when that person is doing that deep down inside he is totally ashamed that i am doing such a horrible act the person knows it deep down inside and the person also knows that i am helplessly addicted to this but when he has 10 people around him then what happens is he gets a very strong conviction that yes these people are also doing what i am doing so i must be doing something which is good i must be doing something which is right that is why you will see when a person is drinking or smoking alone he feels miserable yes he feels as if the world is going to collapse but when you put him in the company of 10 people then he's ever enthusiastic he will drink more and more and more and more and more all right and this is also true with people who eat meat so if we have friends who are coming into this category all right who are indulging in things like eating meat then watching pornography or any sorts of adult material all right or dealing very loosely with the opposite sex that that also comes under the same category then doing things like gambling then 
doing things related to intoxication all right then we need to distance ourselves from these people because if we do continue doing these activities then our vibration will sink down low all time low and one day we will collapse and perish so once we have done this then the next thing we need to do is we need to understand who we are internally which means that the scriptures the vedic scriptures tell us that you are not this body you are spirit soul all right lord krishna also says in the gita the same thing that you are spirit soul you are not this body you are not this body this hand leg head toe what you are thinking you are not that you are spirit soul you are jivatma actually so when the jivatma is in contact with is his higher potential higher potential means in contact with god to the degree to that extent he is in contact with to that degree his vibration will be higher which means that we need to ensure that we have a lifestyle which is primarily composed of the mode of goodness satva guna all right otherwise if our activities are primarily concerned uh, in the areas of rajoguna and tamogun then we are doomed to fall which means that one of the most important things is that we need to get up early in the morning now somebody may say that oh why are you stressing up that we need to get early in, get up early in the morning we can get up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon also and do things well you can do that but when you get up early you must sleep early right so when you are sleeping early then what happens as soon as the mode of ignorance is becoming more and more strong you are going down to sleep and then as soon as satva guna is awake which starts from the brahma muhurt brahma muhurt is nearly around 1 and 1/2 hours before sunrise all right so if the sunrise is at 6 then near about 4:30 they say the brahma muhurt starts and that's the most potent time to do any spiritual practice apart from some mantras which you should do in the evening of course but that's not the point here the point here is that we need to put ourselves in an environment where we can cultivate satva guna externally all right so for that we have to sleep early we cannot keep seeing useless debate shows yes like people see debate shows in television at 9 o'clock my god and they are going to sleep at 10 and they think they will get sleep no they watch things like big boss and then there are ladies who send me messages in whatsapp and facebook and by email they say that oh we are having a uh, quarrels with our mother in law you know they also send message that uh, we are having quarrels with our daughter in law well if you are indulging in politics when you are seeing all this nonsense then what do you think because the gigo principle works garbage in garbage out should i repeat garbage in garbage out if you are seeing things where they show how to pull somebody down how to celebrate the downfall of others then that's what you end up doing yes and then you become extremely selfish you are extremely desensitized from your surroundings have you seen people doing things uh, without even considering how others will feel so when we watch all these things then we will also end up doing all this all right so we need to ensure that we do not aggravate our mind before we sleep because then we cannot go to sleep there are many levels of sleep two levels three levels if you are just hovering around while sleeping then we do not reach to the level of sleep which is actually required then we are actually not sleeping and one of the symptoms of this is that you do not get sleep as soon as you sleep start sleeping as soon as doesn't mean that in 10 seconds but they say that when you go to sleep within 2 minutes you should get sleep all right that's the first symptom and the other symptom is if you get dreams dreams where you are getting it means that your mind is hyper your mind is like going here going there it wants this it wants that if that is happening you are getting dreams that means during the day your mind was hyper that is why you will always see when you had a good day you will have a good sleep 
and when you had a terrible day you will have a terrible sleep all right so do not unnecessarily aggravate your mind by discussing things before sleeping like some very heated topic some very heated debate ideally you should never do it but at least before you sleep don't do it so then you can get up early in the morning as soon as you get up you need to fresh up yourself all right it's best if you can take a bath in cold water unless you have some health problems of course and then we can read one one shloka from the scriptures every day morning that is like hammering the mind yes this is right i need to do this i should do this and then we also need to chant mantras all right and we can also sing bhajans in the morning if that's possible depending on your time and then we need to ensure that we are eating vegetarian food which is preferably cooked that day only all right which means that it is best if you can avoid things which have been cooked earlier like yesterday's cooked food it is not good to eat that all right to whatever extent possible try to avoid it and then when you are going to your company or to your office or business then you need to realize that when you are putting ear plugs if you are hearing uh, fantasy songs of movies or hatred so many things are there these days right then you are programming your brain in the initial hours of the morning to behave like that throughout the day so uh, you can put lectures of spiritual gurus and many people have told me that when they go to the office uh, they will put uh, so many bhajans or kirtan sometimes they will put my videos also that's i mean if that is helping you you can do that or else so many other things are there which you can put some people may like to put hanuman chalisa some people like to put uh, vishnu sahasra naam some people may like to put uh, some uh, stotram related to lord shiva like the shiva Tan- tandav stotram yes whatever you like just do it okay then once you come back then again as i said do not aggravate the mind and in the night also you can discuss about spiritual topics with your husband with your wife with your mother with your father all right apart from the things yes today this happened that happened rather than wasting time 45 minutes with your wife oh how terrible my day was today <laughs> because when you are discussing that maybe you are uh, you are feeling happy because now you are releasing the burden but that's not going to elevate you that's going to degrade you okay so you can talk five minutes that's fine you are allowed <laughs> to say to your partner or to your father or mother if there was something terrible which happened but along with that we also have to ensure that we give positive inputs okay so we can read one shloka from the gita or from the bhagavatam once we reach back that's fantastic and when we do that then our sleep will be proper all right and we should avoid eating too much in the night because that will create disturbance in the stomach that doesn't mean that you will go to the toilet in the night if you eat too much necessarily it can happen or it may not happen but it creates a lot of distress inside inside the system yes there are people who will go to restaurants like barbecue nation in india where they will pay sometimes more than 1000 rupees and they will eat a buffet of 40 items or 50 items yes 20 deserts 20 varieties of meat my god if you are eating all this and then how will you raise your vibration okay and then just before you sleep you should do something which you like which means suppose you like to write then you should write you like to make youtube videos you should do that you like to cook then just take something and cook you may not eat it it may not be that great but if you like to cook you should cook it if you like to paint then you should paint if you like to sing then you should sing if you like to whatever you like if you like to play some sports that also you can do all right that you can do what whatever whatever you feel good whatever your hobbies are whatever your talents are or you can also learn something spiritual you can do some spiritual courses all right and the this is the schedule for the weekdays and in the weekends you can try to visit spiritual centers spiritual retreats okay 
there you can go and associate with sadhus with gurus and then you can see if you can take guidance and inspiration from them and then when you are having holidays instead of wasting time by going to places like no examples <laughs> we can try to visit uh, holy places we can try to visit uh, vrindavan haridwar we can visit kanchipuram we can visit mathura you can visit varanasi you can visit badrinath wherever you are in the east then you can visit jagannath puri you can visit alarnath you can uh, if you are in south you can visit shirangam then hampi these are the places there are hundreds and thousands and millions of places in india my god so these places we can visit and when we visit there we should uh, do some austerities like fasting or doing more meditation more pranayam all these things we can do there and we need to understand which what is the importance of that place like every place has some specific importance for example uh, shirangam shirangam jagannath puri and tirumala tirumala is known as uh, pushpa mandap pushpa mandap means uh, lord balaji venkatesh he is decorated with uh, garlands of flowers pushpa pushpa is flowers so that's the way worship is done there shirangam they say is bhogamandap which means you take prasad jagannath puri is also known as bhogamandap where the more you take prasad the more you advance spiritually and then kanchipuram is known as tapamandap tapamandap means where you do more tapasya more austerity so every place has its own significance like as i made a video about tirupati then you can go and visit the anantacharya's garden which is there so you can know the story of anantacharya of who he was all right and how that garden came into existence how lord vishnu took the form of that boy yes and now even now he is bleeding if you go there if you go to tirumala you can see so that's how we have to raise our vibration okay and then gradually 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 what happen we will also meet other people who are also like us because remember your vibe attracts your tribe should i repeat your vibe attracts your tribe your the average of five people with whom you stay they will decide who you become and at the end we need to associate with friends who encourage us all right that we will always have to do and if we are having any particular talent then we need to associate ourselves with a community where people having that talent are also uh, encouraging encouraging each other okay suppose you have talent in astrology then you can go and join some astrological center like in india we have bharti vidya bhavan that you can do we have i cast these these places are there you can go and join there if you want to learn all right so that these are the things which i have wanted to say so externally you do that go to places where you feel encouraged distance yourself from people who discourage you who pull you down who pull you into negative things all right and internally you have to uh, understand you have to read the scriptures and you have to have this firm conviction that yes this is my life purpose i have to do this read the scriptures every day morning and every day night by that you will have clarity in life and when you have that clarity you will be able to understand that what do i need to do where do i need to do when do i need to do how do i need to do and how much do i need to do these things you will understand okay there you go how to raise your vibration it's been a long video if you are new then subscribe and if you liked it then press the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wanting to know how to get their vibration up okay and if you want a consultation then please go to the link down in the description okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you